everywhere in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to decode or unlock your K4201 and uh, E303 modems okay so the first thing is to connect your modem with the original SIM inside and then install the drivers and then launch the software the next step is to calculate for the unlocking code so I'll give you the link to this website where you can calculate the unlocking code you need to sign in with your G plus account so first create an G a Gmail address and then account and then you log in I have different um, accounts so I'm going to choose one now every account has five chances of calculating for and uh, unlocking code so you have five attempts to calculate and unlocking code for each modem now the next step is to enter the IMEI and then the modem number so with your your modem inside with the original same inside you should launch your software and then with Vodafone you find a diagnostic here and then you click on that now if you're using a different software or modem you make sure to look for the diagnostic and then copy the IMEI and then you paste it. Uh, it's always advisable to get the IMEI from the software that came with the modem rather than um, copying it from the, the modem itself because um, most of them are fake and then they give wrong uh, IMEI numbers. So, and then you copy the name of the, the model. I'm doing these things because I want to be very accurate and then exact. I don't want to make any mistakes. So, I just paste it inside, but you can also type it if you are that accurate. Okay, so now I have my IMEI number. The next thing is to calculate. Click on calculate. Um, this, this page will be displayed, and then one thing you have to notice is that uh, you have to wait for the page to load, everything to load before you click on the J Plus icon that you see. The J Plus icon that you see, click on that, and immediately you find your unlocking codes. Now note the difference here. We are going to use the new algo code. Make sure to copy the new algo code. If you make any mistake and copy a wrong code, uh, you're going to uh, break the modem forever. Okay, so copy that code and then insert a different SIM in your modem and then restart your computer. Put your modem inside and then restart your computer. Immediately you find this uh, additional log information will be required because th there's a different SIM inside the modem. You have to unlock the modem before you can use the same. So if you don't receive this message, I'll give you the link. Okay, I'll give you this link in the description of the video. So you look on it and then you direct. That is for Vodafone, maybe from Ghana. So if you are using a different SIM, a modem or from a different country, you should ha you should have it or you try with this app. Then, so I'll paste in the unlocking code and then just unlock and then immediately you should find the device successfully unlocked that is all configure now and then here you choose the custom settings so that you can set the APN and then the, the, the network name now I'm using Tigo see now it has been unlocked so now the modem is now Tigo even though know, it's, it's, it's registered with a border phone so this is a simple and straightforward method of uh, unlocking or decoding your modems e now the next Thing is to show you how to unlock or decode the E303. Now with the E303, you follow the same steps of of which um, of getting the code, and then we're going to use this software, Huawei Modem Code Writer. That's what we use to unlock the E303. Now you, you launch the software, and then you click on please select COM port. Immediately, this one will pop up. You just click on detect, and then you should find the name of the modem here. Just select that. Immediately, um, a, a pop-up box will. will come here and then you enter the unlocking code and then you, you click on accept and that is all your, your modem will be um, unlocked thanks for watching bye and then subscribe to this channel